Hello, hi guys. Welcome to another edition of the Two Dogs Podcast. This is episode 97. 97? Oh. 97. Okay, okay. For episode 100, we, we need we, we, something special. We keep saying, we keep saying. We keep saying. Okay, saying. I have someone in mind for right. episode 100. Right. Let me talk to the person and see where the person is interested. Yeah. Any, 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 any preview? Any... If the person is interested, okay. then, 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 then we'll let you know. Otherwise, you know, uh, later otherwise, the person yeah, reject, yeah, then, yeah, then yeah. there's no point, right? That's not too the horn. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, um, Dr. Ali here. Yeah, Dr. Inky. Uh, Dr. Inky. And uh, we generally talk about a lot of non-medical stuff, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, today's topic is... Um, how do you identify toxic, toxic people? people. Now, toxic. F- f- first of all, what is a toxic person? Well, let, let's just start with uh, how this topic came up. Mm-hmm. So we, uh, we, we, we actually have a couple of uh, viewers who, who do see us and, and comment. Mm-hmm. And I had two or three of them who actually asked, Doc, can you talk about toxic people? Toxic people. Toxic people. Okay. Because apparently they, they deal with a lot of these people. Toxic people. Toxic people. And, and they want to hear our perspective. Okay. Of all right. So how right. do you? Okay. How, so I think the main thing is, what is a toxic? What person? is a toxic person? Yeah. Well, I, 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 I think there's a lot of definition. I'm just gonna go by mine. Uh, basically, a person who, who either takes joy or unknowingly, mm-hmm. um, does things whereby it creates a form of stress onto you. Mm. A form of stress, and and it can be a, a an obvious stress, or it can actually be a mild, subtle stress that you don't even realize. To you, it could have been just been maybe some peer pressure, maybe just some social expectation, but over on the long run, um, it eats into you. Ah, I totally understand. Totally understand. What's your definition? I think uh, the first definition is someone who finds joy in other people's misery. Oh, that's toxic. That's toxic. Someone, kind. someone knowingly, mm. knowingly know that someone is miserable and they find joy in it. Yeah. So, so, so of course that is like the ultimate, the, the, the ultimate the toxic ultimate. person, right? Yeah. And I actually totally agree with your second one, whereby unknowingly a person actually, I would say, drains your energy. Yeah, right? yeah, drains yeah, your energy, yeah, 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 yeah. makes you feel worthless, mm-hmm. even if they don't mean it. But yeah. every time when you when you're in their vicinity, they make you feel worthless. Yeah. Right. And they don't and generally they don't make you feel good happy. about yourself. Yeah. You, you don't they, they, you don't make you, you don't feel good about yourself. Even the even if they say something good, you feel bad. Yes. You feel bad. Yes. You know, like we will have examples yeah. later. Yeah. So I think everyone's definition of a toxic person is slightly different. Mm-hmm. But I think generally we understand what a toxic person is. Correct. Yeah. But I got one more. Okay. I've got one more. I thought I wanted to save it to the end, but ah heck, let's just do it now. <laughs> one more is toxic positive person. Toxic, toxic positivity. Positive. Have you heard of it? No, what's a toxic positive? Toxic positivity. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Let's jump in that and stay tuned to the to the end of the podcast. Right. So Let's, let's jump into all this okay. list of these toxic people. Now, um, a lot of times what, what, what happened is we as humans, we don't, we not always, lah, but most of the time we like to be in the presence of people. Yes. Even yes. if you're an introvert, you still like to be in the presence of people sometimes. Yeah, humans sometimes. are generally a more a, social, a very creature. social creature. Social yeah. creature. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the recent pandemic has shown us that you know, if you lock, if you lock, if you lock people up for a long period of time, mm. they kind of go cuckoo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get quite miserable. Go, you become very miserable. Uh, one of my friends who who got who got locked in recently because of of, of self quarantine, yeah, right? Okay. He starts telling me, "Hey, bro, I'm I'm feeling it, lah. Feeling what? I'm feeling a bit cuckoo. Why?" <laughs> I'm I'm sitting in this room, right? And and the furniture is talking to me. Oh no, but okay, that is that is that is <laughs> but I said, uh, serious. But, but I say it's okay. But I say it's okay. It it's just help. imagination. It's okay if you talk if the furniture talks to you. Then he said, then then what's worse than that? If I talk to furniture, I said, no, you talking to furniture is no different than than if you talk to a teddy bear. I said, you're only truly cuckoo, right? When the furniture talk to each other <laughs> and they're laughing about <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is toxic uh, that is to- uh, toxic, <laughs> toxic right so coming back we, 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 we know that as humans we love to be in the presence of people uh, whether is it uh, short durations or even longer duration but ultimately we like to be in the presence of someone even mm. an introvert still likes to be in the company of another introvert yeah even if they're just silently being in each other's company however there will come a time whereby it's stressful mm-hmm. being in the company of someone else yes and a lot of people don't realize why it is. And, mm-hmm. and, and unknowingly, there might be some form of toxic perception or toxic vibration or energy that's, that, that's going about. 
and that's something that we will probably want to address it today. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, have you have you come across um, what was your first, uh, most significant instance of coming across a toxic person? I would say toxic people. I, I generally try try and avoid them right mm-hmm. as as much as possible. But of course, sometimes you have no choice. You have to be either around them, you either work with them, mm. or you know socially you're in the same group of friends. I do know probably. You know, to me, maybe maybe the person is toxic, but probably to other people, the person is friendly. Hmm. So I do remember a long time ago, you know, we have a, a a similar group of friends whereby there's one person whereby I, I always felt, you know, whenever I hung around the group and this one person is there, right? Mm-hmm. At the end of it, right, I feel like, you know, my self-worth is much lower, hmm. right? My self-worth is much lower and I don't feel great at the end of the day. All right. right. At the end right. of the day, I'll go right. back and I'll question my choices, question myself. You know, they 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 make right stuff. Mm. But of course, this particular person is very jovial. Yep. He's very, he's very happy. Mm. He makes jokes all around. Mm. But at the same time, I I find that he makes jokes at the expense of other people. Mm. All right. Yeah. Happened that you happen to be part of. That. Yeah, and I happen to be the butt of the joke. Uh, mm. more than once. Right? All right. So at the end of the day, I feel like you know what? I don't really want to hang around this particular person, but I'm forced to because it's it is so- within my social, social circle, circle of friends. Yeah. So there would there there there, there was even a time whereby I actually retreated from the social the whole circle. circle. Yeah. The whole the entire wow. circle. Because, so because of that because one person. Because the one person. Because the circle always ha- always hung out mm. together. Mm. So mm. I would just retreat, and then I realized I actually after that I I I have, I have no more friends. <laughs> so, but what happened was um. I didn't actually confront that person. Mm-hmm. What 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 you I retreated. did was I know what 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 I did was I I went head on. Huh? <laughs> so 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 whenever when when whenever a joke was made about me, I would then throw Come the joke back. back. Yes, right. I, would, I would throw the joke back. Right, right. Then after it came to a certain point whereby the other person realized what I was doing, uh-huh. and then that person actually start to scale down a little bit. Probably he realized that, you know what, uh, you know, I shouldn't be too too, okay. too mean or whatever, or maybe whatever he feel like, even though it was it was a, a friendly gesture. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but 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 I feel like probably he took it too far. So this was okay because mm. he actually retreated. How how about you? Any any uh run ins with any toxic yeah, people? A lot, a lot. But but I like the way that that um what 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 you mentioned is that one person might be seemingly toxic to us mm-hmm. but other people may not feel yeah. it i think that's very important and 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 because of that what you did by retreating initially i think a lot of people do the same thing mm-hmm. they feel that oh everyone likes him yeah so it can't be him it could be me mm-hmm. and that's a stress that's a stress even though he's directing or she's directing a lot of the the the, the jokes or the insinuation yeah. or the soft insults at you particularly, whether they like you and they want to pay you more attention, but it just so happened to be that way, or, or it just so happened the energy is so numb, they just want to make fun of you all the time. Um, but but I think people need to identify that is one of those example of toxic person. They can be very friendly, everyone likes the person, and it just doesn't gel well mm. with you. My side, I I have more run-ins of toxic personalities at work. At work. At work. Okay. At work. So, well, friends, you can choose. Yes. Because you know you want to hang out with them, hang out. Don't want to hang out. Got less friends. Mm-hmm. Then start looking for new friends. But there's no commitment. That's true. There's no commitment. That's true. Work on the other hand, oh that sucks. Mm. I can't choose my work partners, unless I really change jobs. And I think maybe these days jumping jobs six months might be a norm. But our time, <laughs> yeah. jumping jobs yeah. six months has a very bad rep on the, on on, yes. on the resume. So we tend to want to stay on uh, at a job longer. But you might not be able to choose the dynamics of the group at your workplace. And I frequently would run into someone who was a bit more toxic within and inside it. It may not necessarily always be toxic towards me, but it's toxic to the group. As in like they drain the energy of the group. The the shenanigans or the mannerism or the things they say or the personality or just the way they work doesn't gel with others and makes others feel that their self-worth is less. For example, let's say everyone does X amount of work, but most people will put in a little bit extra Mm -hmm. because, you know, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone's happy. So when you're happy, you don't mind putting a little bit extra. And then one person will come in and say, it's not part of my job. I don't see why I should put in extra. You want to do, you do it yourself. 
for me, I won't do it. Or, sharp on the dot, ciao. Even if work, work is not done, but you say, oh, I'm only paid to work until five. So by five, I need to leave because I'm not getting it overtime. I mean, they're not wrong. What they say is not wrong because a lot of these extra helping one another is not part of your job description. It's not expected anyway. You're not getting paid for it. So they're not wrong to do that, but everyone else is happy to do it. So the dynamics is great. But when one person comes in and does this, everyone will start questioning their self-worth. Oh yeah, huh? why work so hard? Huh? <laughs> yeah, should go back on time also. Huh? It causes some imbalance. I, 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 I find that a lot more in, at, at workplace. Yeah, I think, uh, I think a lot of people find that toxic people are more prevalent at workplaces mm-hmm. rather mm-hmm. Than, than, than their own personal life or, or in social circles. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't mean that they don't um, appear in your personal lives. Oh, they will. Right? They will. Yeah, they actually, do, they they actually do appear. And I've actually known people mm-hmm. whereby their parents are toxic. Oh, um, yeah. yes. Whereby the parents are negative. Correct. And the parents actually, instead of raising the self-value and the self-confidence of, of the kids actually suppress them. Suppress. Suppress them yes. and not only suppress them in Insult private, them. all right? Yeah. Suppress them in public as well. Oh, wow. Right? Whereby wow. they were, uh, you know, they, 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 would, they, they would say negative things yeah, about yeah, them yeah, in yeah, public yeah, in front yeah, of yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I've, I've actually seen that in person mm. and I feel, I, I actually feel sorry for them yep. because unlike friends whereby you can choose and jobs, you, you can job Semi juice, yeah. You can't just your parents. parents. Yeah. You can't just your parents. You, you could know? disown them. <laughs> you could disown them, but we're, we're not encouraging major. you to do that. But, yeah, but yeah, it's a major. Yeah. It's a major thing to yes. do. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen parents whereby they, they have no qualms over a, f- a dinner w- or, or a, a social function with friends mm. will go, oh, my son, ah, that one, a ah, useless one. Ah. Yes, I've heard of it. You've heard of it, right? <laughs> I, I think our more. generation, we get quite a lot of it. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. Oh, my son, ah, cannot work one. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's, so, that, that's part of um, parenting. Right. Okay, uh, so how do you deal with toxic people? I think, um, well, I, I'm going to go head on, on on the work part first. Mm. So I think when it comes to, to work, um, me being in a position because I'm, I'm more on the management side, so I have to be more aware. Mm. So I usually would, would collect as much examples as I have and then I try to put myself in all shoes, but then I, eventually I'll still confront. Okay. So let's say example, let's say you are in a corporation mm. and someone is toxic to the to the company culture, mm. you would you confront the person head on, or would you like you know hey you know what let's go talk to HR and let HR deal with it? Well, my company I'm the HR la, so. <laughs> but but if let's but, say but let's say, let's say but if let's it's say, a larger if company, it's a larger company, I'll probably uh, raise it to HR. You raise it. I'll HR ra- raise it to HR. I said um just just to inform just to inform not an official complaint but just to look into it and and for them for HR to look into it more. In no more la, details. The moment you talk to HR, there's official complaint. Really. <laughs> HR will ask you to put in writing. Yeah, that's, really. that's a problem, right? That's a problem. You, you, you can't whistle blow without yeah. being a complainant. Yeah, that one's definitely... And once you're a complainant, right? You have to be there to, to defend the whole thing. Yes, exactly, mm. exactly. And that's probably the reason why, right? A lot of toxic people get away with it. Yes, actually, mm. you'll, be, you'll be surprised. Mm. Because it's hard to complain against to you. Complain. Because yes. most people don't want to be the bad person. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Most people don't want to be the bad yes, person. Yes, that is correct. Mm. And sometimes a lot of this toxic behavior that, that they have, it's very hard to document down. Yes. Yeah. You because know, it's, 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 it's just it's, like that. It's passing remarks. Correct. Right. It, it's, it's hard to document down. It's you, not you, like sexual harassment. Mm. It's not like, you know, something written in emails whereby it's all documented. It's a lot of times it's just passing remarks. Yeah. And it's not like as though the conversation was recorded 24-7. Yes, exactly. So there is no hard evidence. It's yes. he says, she says, I implied, he implied. Mm. Unless the whole group comes together. Yes. Then it obviously says nobody likes that person yes, anymore. Yes, that is right. That's right. again, Toxic people, a lot of time, a lot of time, are still very well liked. Yes, generally they, they are. They just tend to pick, pick. Uh, I would say pick like, I wouldn't say bully. They pick on one person or a, f- a couple of uh, or someone they they, someone they know they, they can pick on. Right? Ah, they Basically. like to pick on. Yeah, yeah. How would you deal with parents who parents who are toxic? toxic. Yeah. I would generally, unfortunately, as if you're a child of, of a parent who's toxic, hmm. you have to identify first that mm. your parents are toxic. And it's not your fault. And it's not your fault. And it's very difficult to identify because those are the only parents you know. Correct. All right? Correct. You've Correct. probably never seen other 
parent-child dynamics. Hmm. All right. Yep. Then for you, that is actually a regular interaction between a, a parent and a child. Hmm. So it's very difficult for the child to actually identify that the parents are the cause of certain problems. Mm-hmm. But of course, once you once the child has identified, then two things will happen. Now, first, first of all, is to change oneself. Yeah. All right. For the child to change himself, yeah. right? To get out of the particular mindset, right? Or the particular relationship. Mm-hmm. Secondly, because what I realize is it's very hard to change people. Yeah. Especially if older people. Yes. Especially once they're set in their ways. Correct. And they don't see the the the, the things that they're doing wrong. Yeah. And they would and as parents, they're telling, I'm doing for you for your own good. Yes. <laughs> I'm yeah. doing for your own their good. Their intentions are always noble. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So yes, you can confront the parent mm-hmm. but at the same time expect nothing to change because yeah. again it's that hard is to the change. way it's hard to change Correct. somebody it's much easier to change yourself, yourself. Mm. and i've actually seen children of very toxic parents who just leave the family as in you know they just work somewhere very yeah. far away yeah. they disappear yeah. they don't come back for mm. festive seasons and stuff yeah rarely I, come back yeah i yeah. read they rarely, rarely come, come back, back. Yeah. they rarely rarely come back yeah. so that that's also another one of those ways of escaping yeah to put it in an analogy if the the the, the river is flowing this way right you can't expect to yeah, flow the other way yeah, you that's your really parents yeah you can build a better boat to go upstream yeah yeah but that's about it yeah yeah uh well so 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 that, wait that, coming back to that positive toxicity thing all right, right, right let's talk about toxic positivity yeah. um all right so toxic positivity uh, a lot of it also comes in um corporate culture okay corporate culture uh it comes in business culture mm-hmm. um uh networking meetings okay you know everyone starts clapping hand and they are ultra positive <laughs> Everybody's positive. we can do it yeah you know then you start singing bruno mars i want to be a millionaire song mm. all the time you reinforce a lot of false positivity into someone okay until for everyone it, it they, they think of it as if you are positive i'm positive we're tr- uh, we're, we're trying to build more positive yes. but sometimes life is life is like that Mm-hmm. you know if it sucks it sucks you need to embrace it then you improve it someone telling you that life is better don't worry it's better it's not going to make your life any better true so so that's one of the uh, things about uh, toxic positivity yeah uh, I totally understand totally understand yeah I've I've definitely seen those kind of cultures around uh, among certain groups mm. uh, whereby they are overly positive yeah to the point whereby they refuse to say something negative about someone, even though that negative remark would actually help that particular person. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Sometimes some amount of negativity, some amount of criticism is criticism needed. is needed yes. because that's the reality of mm. what's happening. You 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 can't keep sugar coating everything and expect that you know if you take more sugar you you'll be healthier. If anything you 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 get, you you get know, diabetic. Diabetic. So <laughs> that's the same thing. Your foot too much off. of too much of 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 pleasantries. Too much of praises. It's yeah. not a toxic positivity. Mm-hmm. Another one is uh, like like how uh, some modern children up- upbringing, mm-hmm. whereby they keep reinforcing uh, um, uh, praises yes. on the child. You know, everybody wins a prize mm-hmm. on on sports day. That's another form of. of yeah, yeah. I would say, yeah, it's borderline toxicity yeah, in the form of positivity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. You know, your 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 your. Yeah, creating, if you lose, you lose You, lose, Basically, you, lose, you lose, you lose You lose. You'll you be better. Home, you go home without anything. Yes. Right. No price. No price. No price. Except Just go defeat. and yeah. defeat. Except go and defeat. be better. Yeah. Which reminds me of the movie King Richard. You must watch King Richard. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, you must watch. Yeah. Yeah. The, the whole the whole slap gate thing. Yeah. The whole slap gate. <laughs> yeah. The whole slap gate. Thing. Anyway, if you, if you've been <laughs> hiding under a rock, yeah, you, know, Will, you have Will, no idea who's, what, Will Smith. What, what the slap was? Smack yeah. the s out of Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Because of some remarks, yes. But that aside, the movie that he won the best movie actor, is supposed to be good. The movie is not supposed good. It it's, is good. It's good lah. It has la. a lot of uh, actually good values. So well deserved Oscar. Well deserved Oscar. <laughs> just I, that poor, just poorly deserving <laughs> slap. Poorly, exe- <laughs> poorly executed <laughs> slap. Poorly executed slap. Okay, that's another toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we're going to be ending this session soon. Um, do subscribe and like our content. Uh, comment if you've met any yeah. kind of uh, toxic, toxic, positive, people. toxic yeah. people. And how you deal with it. Especially how you deal with it. You deal with it. All right. And we will be back again next week on another edition of the Two Dogs Podcast for this week. We're signing off. I'm Dr. Ellie. And I'm Dr. Ngi. Great weekend. <laughs>